Sportster, and today we're going to be look, checking out the King Kong 260 plug and play. And if you want to see this cool little DIY, DIY quadcopter hack, look forward to it in another video. But for now, let's go check out this little quadcopter. So let's open it up. Homemade latches. Yeah. All right, so first of all, we have the quad itself. And right now I'm just doing like a short little unboxing. I've already unboxed it and flew this quad, but just showing you what it all comes with. You get your quad itself, the antenna, zip ties, I guess, for maybe you know, tidying up some stuff. 20 pairs of propellers. 10 pairs per propeller side. And get a lot of uh, accessory wires and stuff. I really don't know what they're for. Um, I'm sorry, but if you do, please let me know. And we have, they actually comes with Velcro, which is surprising, but you know, if you need it, you've got it. And some more cables. Um, looks like you can solder anything you want up to this one. We've got a little USB port to flash our ESCs, looks like. And that is pretty much it. Oh, and dig into my box. And uh, we have two extra little legs here. Um, you know, you might need them because these things tend to, you, know, you can pop them off pretty easy. You might hot glue them on or something. That might help, but I mean, I haven't lost one yet. So you got those little legs. An extra little wire probably to hook up to your mini CC3D. It has a little servo connector on the end. Special servo connector. So that's what it all comes with. So now, let's look, look at the quad. So, as you can see here, pretty much everything is plastic except for, of course, the circuit board and um, the post. And, you know, this is actually a pretty durable frame. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. I, I've had a crash and it took it pretty well, didn't break anything. So, I'm happy with that. I mean, nobody wants to break a quad. And you've actually got a 5.8 gigahertz FPV system right in there. little FPV uh, system in there and we've got King Kong 2300 kV motors right there they come pre-installed everything comes pre-built you know except for you know hooking up your receiver but that is pretty much it and we've got our everything's you know pre-soldered and everything so all you have to do is hook up your receiver and plug in the battery on the props and go. Um, and these ESCs are, let's zoom in here. Oh, 12 amp opto ESCs right there. Two to four cell lipo. And they do not have BECs in them, so they have an external UBEC right in the center right there. And what I did actually is, um, on the bottom here at the ends, uh, they had exposed pads. Oops, sorry. They had exposed pads. So what I did is I actually covered those up with a little piece of tape on each side. Right there. And let's go back to the table. And so, you know, I covered those little pads up, so... Nothing doesn't get shorted in case something, you know, anything could happen. But it, it comes with this uh, interesting battery strap. Um, instead of, you know, one of these uh, holes right here, it has two on other, each side. And what it does is each end goes through it and wraps around. But it, it works pretty good. It's not the best quality strap. I will say that the Velcro is not the best, you know, so it's not the 
best quality. It doesn't stick that great. You know, it's not that great. It, you could actually replace it with uh, normal Velcro, but I wouldn't. I'm just gonna use this strap, but it actually does get pretty large. Um, you could, you can easily fit a 2200 in there, and I fit a other thing in there too, like a battery beeper on top. Works for that. And if you're wondering what this Velcro is on this Mobius mount, it is uh, because I actually use my mom's uh, iPhone 5S, and I actually have this homemade. I just have a homemade little foam board mount that I use. It works fine for me. Um, I'm gonna buy an, a real action camera sometime. So, yeah, I mean, this is a great quad. Um, you know, I'm 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 really new at this quad stuff, so it was really great for me because I didn't have to do anything, no guesswork or anything like that. Um, I can't think of anything else really. You know, and oh, and there is this really bright, bright LED strip right there. Right there. That thing is really bright. It helps a lot with orientation. Um, that's what's kept me up in the air. <laughs> um, so, yeah, really bright LED strip. Overall, great quad, you know. Um, plastic may not be the best, you know. If you break an arm, you could epoxy it, you know, or zip tie it or something. But if you break it, you more than likely have to buy a whole new frame and replace a lot of stuff. But, you know, I mean, it's overall, it's it's proven itself to be pretty sturdy. I've crashed it, you know, I mean, nothing's happened to it at all. So, I'm really happy with this quad. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um... This quad, I would definitely recommend it for the beginner. Um, it is $133, which that is kind of expensive, you know. I mean, you could build your own for about 100 bucks at the cheapest, you know, minimal bare bones stuff. But it's a it's a great overall quad considering it comes with FPV ready, everything's ready to go. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, like I already said, and enjoy the scenery. It's pretty nice. Ah, what's happening? Ah, bye.